Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So guys, before getting into that, I want to once again remind you. So introduction to IoT course, guys. I have already uploaded part one. So within two or three days, I will upload part two also. Here you can get nearly 120 to 150 practice MCQs, guys. Just for 89 rupees only because many people are students and they may not able to afford much amount. So for them, as a student offer, we are giving for just 89 rupees only, guys. No one in this YouTube is providing that. Only our channel is doing that. So it is completely based on NPTEL syllabus and no outside syllabus is involved. And it is specially designed for NPTEL students, guys. So uh, I will show you how to join that. So first go to our channel page. I will give the link in the description also. You can directly click it or you can search Eskumar edu in the search box. So beside this uh, subscribe button, there is join button, right? So click on that. You can either select 119 pack or 89. The speciality of 119 pack is if I upload any live video, you can get that through 119 only. And it is, uh, if you take this 119 pack, it means that you are combinedly taking all the remaining packs because you can get all the remaining packs within this 119 only. So you will save much more money, right? So I recommend you to take this 119 per month pack, guys. If you want only recorded videos and you don't want the other uh, course features, just click on 89 per month and click on join and make payment. That's it. You will become member of our channel and you can get access to all these courses, guys. Not only one IoT course. You can get all these videos. So hurry up, guys. Already many people have joined. So exam date is uh, approaching right in this month only. So, so hurry up guys. So and I will show you the other membership also. So this is PDF version. Actually many people join in the uh, video membership. But they are asking now that they want the PDF version. Because PDF is easy to share guys. You can easily share with your friends also. But a video is not shareable. It will be only access to only one, uh, one, uh, only one member. So if you think 500 rupees is a uh, big price, don't think that, guys, because it is a classmates pack. So here I have highlighted, right? It's a classmates pack. Suppose minimum to minimum there will be 30 persons. I mean 30 students plus who uh, study the same course in your classroom, right? So if you divide this 500. Not with just 30, I mean 30 members. If you even uh, buy combinedly 10 members also, for each person it will take just 50 rupees, right? It is less than the 89 membership, right? So taking this 500 pack PDF is a uh, very good deal, right? And what are the other features? So price will be reduced on each person if you buy in groups, right? And also you will get pdf not video so it is easy to search questions in the pdf right in video you cannot do that and you can e it is easy to revise before exam you can easily scroll the pdf before the exam but you cannot do that in the video version so if you want this pdf version no need to join in our channel guys just message me in the comment section so there from there onwards i will uh, give you further steps how to pay this 500 pack so you can mail, uh, I have given the mail in the description, so you can mail to me for that uh, email id. I will give you the further steps, uh, I will give the UPI id to buy this 500 pack. If you want 89 pack, no need to message me guys, directly join uh, by clicking on join button. Try to make payment uh, through your mobile phone so that you can get UPI id option also. Or if you want the PDF version which will be helpful for whole class and also price will be reduced on each person uh, depends on the number of uh, students in your classroom so if you, if there are 50 uh, 50 members then just for 10 rupees for each person you can get this right so very very useful pdf version guys better than a uh, video version so think about it if you want this 500 pack message me in the comment section so from there i will uh, continue with you so let's see the solutions for this week so now we are going to give the solutions for week 11 assignment <coughs> week 11 assignment of iot course now let's see the first question guys i hope every solution is 100 percent correct but if you want to make me any suggestion you can do that in the comment section and if i get any updates also i will do that there itself so before the final submission once again check the solutions guys which of the following is not not done in the traditional electrical grids 
so for first question the correct answer is option d distributed power plants so mark first option guys already many people have taken this uh, package so you can see these are the top 8 members so hope i uh, you will join in you will join in this and be in this leaderboard and many people all have already taken the 500 course also guys so it is better compared to the video version so it is not easy to cover entire video because it will be in hours right so here you can see already i have uploaded part one of the iot course so soon i will update part two also so hurry up guys join now so second question So second one, smart grid is also named as, so smart grid is also named as electronet, electronet, so mark option A. Next question guys, third one, which of the following is not, not a property of uh, smart grids? So for third question, the correct answer is option C, unreliable and insecure electricity. So mark option C, next one. Which of the following, which of the following is the benefit of using smart grids for stakeholders? So for fourth question, the correct answer is option A, reduces inefficiencies in energy delivery. So mark option A. Next question guys. Dash samples voltage and current with a fixed sample rate at the installed location. So for fifth question, the correct answer is option C, PM use. PM use. Next one, guys. So mark option C. Next question. Which of the following is a cloud application of smart grid? So for sixth question, option D, all of these, all of these is the correct answer guys. So mark, option D. Now moving on to the seventh one. Which of the following statements are true about MDMS? So first option is wrong guys. Because here they are given cu customers. It is not customers. It is consumers. So guys here actually uh, exact uh, term they have mentioned is consumers here they have given customers so actually both terminology uh, the meaning is same but terminology is uh, incorrect right so if you go by the meaning I say statement 1 is also correct so but I am not sure whether they consider the terminology or the meaning so if you don't consider that then the option will be option C otherwise it will be option D guys so mark with your wisdom so i think they will go by the meaning so both customers and consumers will also be included as same one so if that is the correct 
then option D would be the answer guys otherwise C could be the answer so I am going with option D here next one Which of the following are included in the smart grid security issues of integrity? So all these are correct guys. So mark option D again. Next question. Dash is a primary challenge in IIoT. So for ninth question, the correct answer is option D, integrating existing infrastructure into new IIoT infrastructure. So option D is the correct one. Now let's move on to the tenth question. Fill in the blank. RT Tech particularizes particularizes in software which dash so for 10th question also the answer is all of these so mark option D guys next 11th question lack of vision vision and leadership is not a hindrance in the path of success of IIoT it is absolutely false Option B. Next one. Which of the following is not not a vulnerability of smart grid? So for 12th question, the correct answer is option D. None of these. So mark option D. Next question. Which of the following is a characteristics of big data? 13th question also, the answer is option D, all of this. Veracity, variability and velocity. So mark option D. Now moving on to the 14th one. So guys, before getting into the 14th one, I want to once again remind you so that you can get nearly 120 to 150 practice MCQs in the video format. It is not shareable and you can only watch that in YouTube, you can't download it to your mobile. So you can get nearly 120 to 150 practice MCQs for just 89 rupees only guys. So as a student offer we are providing, no other channel is providing that. So only our channel is doing that, already many many people have joined guys. So be one of them, hurry up and join this, completely based on NPTEL syllabus and no outside nonsense is involved. So hurry up guys. And if you want for if you think for whole class, not for individual, so it is better to take PDF version, guys. So the PDF version is 500 rupees. Don't think this as a big amount because you can share that with your friends or your classmates. So price price burden will be reduced on each person if you buy in group. So that's why I call it as classmates pack. So it is easy to search questions in PDF, right? You cannot even uh, search that in a uh, video. And it is easy to revise before the exam because you can easily scroll the PDF and you can read the bits easily. But in video it is not possible, you have to watch hours and hours. And video is not shareable but PDF is shareable. You can share that to any number of people. So it is best to take the PDF version of 500 guys. Already many people have taken this. So that's why I am recommending this to you. So the very very best offer guys, PDF version 500, you can share that with your friends also any number of friends there is no restrictions so if you want that mail me uh, i have given the mail in the description box mail me uh, regarding that if you want the pdf version guys so i will give the upa number there and if you want 18 pack, no need to co uh, comment in the comment section you can directly click on join button and you can join so if you want this 500 pack either you can message me in the comment section or you can directly mail me that i have given the mail in the description box so anything you can do that guys so now moving on to the remaining two questions. So 14th one, variety refers to the category to which the data belongs. 
So for 14th question, the correct answer is option A, true. So mark option A. Now let's move on to the final question. So guys, from more than 4 years of experience, we are giving these solutions guys. So with that belief, you can take these packs. Already many people have taken that. So be one of them. And get very good pre preparation ahead of the final exam guys. No. So 15th one. What is the flow of data? So for 15th and final question, the correct answer is option C. Generation, acquisition, storage and analysis. Guys, if I get any update regarding change of solution, I can do that. Uh, I will update in the comment section. So before final submission, once again check that guys. So for 15th question, the correct answer is option C. So friends, these are the solutions for week 11 assignment of IOT. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this with your friends guys. Make every one of your classmates join in this 89 pack. Or if you can, if you want to save money, you can directly take 500 pack for whole class guys. So if you want this uh, 500 pack, mail me in the description. Uh, I mean, mail. Uh, I have given my email ID in the description box. You can mail to that, or you can comment message in the comment section, guys. If you want the PDF version of 500, so already many people have taken that, guys. So that's why I'm sharing this news with you. So hurry up, guys, because exam date is approaching, right? So from now you should start preparation. So all the best, guys. So that's it for this video. So keep supporting me like this, guys, forever. So that's it for the video. So until the next video, goodbye. Thank you. If you have any doubts regarding this, you can please ask me in the comment section. So that's it. Bye.